This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing with Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to move clips using timecode. Notice as I move the playhead, the timecode displayed underneath the viewer changes. Timecode is an address that uniquely identifies every frame of video in every clip as well as every frame in the project. Right now I'm 19 seconds, 16 frames into the project. Here I'm at the very beginning and here I'm toward the end. If I click in here, I can jump the playhead to a particular timecode simply by clicking on the timecode display and typing the number that I want to go to. I don't even need to use punctuation. Click 2250 and it does the math. Or click 456 and it does the math. I don't even have to get the frames right. It'll figure out if I type in too many frames what I should actually have typed. If I have a clip selected and type Control D, Control D, I can change the duration of the clip. Control D, change the duration of the clip. If I want to move a clip, select the clip, type the plus key, and type how far I want it to move, in this case 5 seconds. And the clip itself moves 5 seconds, minus 4 seconds. Minus moves something that's selected to the left, plus moves something that's selected to the right. If I have multiple clips selected, plus 600 zero, zero, moves all the selected clips to the right if it's a positive number, or to the left if it's a negative number. But not when I'm down here. Type plus and it simply extends, like I'm doing a trim, extends the previous clip. Instead, select the clip you want to move and make sure that you're on the position tool, which overrides the magnetic timeline. Now when you type plus five seconds, it moves the clip and inserts a gap, which is pure black. I use this timecode shifting a lot. We learned it first last week when we looked at how I can timecode shift an edit point when I'm trimming it. Now we can move clips and we can move the playhead, which is a, a feature that I use in my longer projects all the time. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing with Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 287. By the way, Membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. Membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.